What the fuck is up, everybody? This is Yesik. I am your captain. I am speaking. And here we are to watch part two of the season one finale match between Anti and Fire. First up, obviously, is Sober carrying on from the last video versus Tree Gun. Bouncing him off the ground there with a nice combo. I can't even begin to describe these next matches. It's just Sober is such an amazing fighter. And Tree Gun's very similar, and you saw that right there. They both popped Arm Crash at the same time, but Tree Gun let his off first and broke Sober's stamina, putting him on the back foot. So far, they're dead even. Oh, Sober punched him out of a fucking Pearl Flash. I hope you all saw that. Tree Gun only managing to get away by popping a Mock Dash. Sober just Arm Crashed through a Pearl Flash. You're going to see a lot of Pearl Flash between these two because they have a f basically the same build. From what I can tell, just Tree Gun has a couple of differences. Melee like this, especially between fighters of this caliber, is always very difficult to comment on because it's moving so damn fast. I mean, you guys, you can see these. These guys are popping skills like every couple of seconds. So, Tree Gun got a cheeky grab off there. You can tell uh, it's still a pretty even fight at this point. Sober so going in for the. Shining Slash to Pearl Flash combo. Very alliterative name there. Tree Gun missing the range on that uh, arm crash gets punched in the face by Sober. And now there's definitely a very clear favor for Sober here. I think he arm crashed through that again. Oh, but you saw there. Sober perfect blocked. He perfect blocked one of the hits of the Freedom Kick. So the Freedom Kick was going to miss from there on. Now it's Tree Gun's turn to uh, arm crash through a Pearl Flash. Quick uh, mock dash saves him from taking the other Pearl Flash. Or Pearl Flash. And at this point, you see, you hear that sound. Tree Gun has disconnected, but that's not his fault. Um, that was just his connection. Happened to die right at that time. As you can see, he's at like a sliver of health. Sober has very handily and very obviously won this fight. So it doesn't really matter that Tree Gun disconnected. Because his his bot is not going to beat Sober. No question. Sober would never lose to a bot. And as you can see there, Sober finishes it up. So now we head into our second match. Uh, always excited to see builds like this go up against each other. Because then it comes down to a matter of... Who's better with the hands? They're both Earthlings. They're both Strikers. They both have, you know, a, a couple of the same moves. You know, so it comes down to who's better with the hands, who's better at the vanishes, who's better at the stamina game. You know, basically, who's better at Xenoverse 101. And so I feel like these are always the most impressive fights. Now, of course, this comes down to the same thing with, you know, key uh, builds as well. Just... I feel like a lot more of Xenoverse 101, as I would call it. And you can see there, he perfect blocked the Freedom Kick again. So the last hit missed, and he could just do whatever he wanted. But uh, I feel like Xenoverse 101 is much more to do with basic attacks, vanishes, uh, you know, that stuff. You know, the basic movements of the game, outside of like abilities and whatnot. Although, you know, you could have effectively put abilities in that same category as well, but... At the same time, you're seeing, you know, both of these guys do an incredible job of managing each other's stamina. Although you can see Sober's doing a bit better job because he's keeping Tree Gun far enough on the back foot to have to use uh, his stamina up. And I'm not sure why Sober Soul used Armored Boost there, but he felt like he needed to. And uh, here we are. They're just trying to, at this point, Sober's just trying to catch him with something. And Tree Gun knows that the next time he gets hit, he is going to lose. And it seems like he's going to pull it back here. What will Sober do? Oh, shiny Slash. We'll still hitch through Arm Crash until Arm Crash fires. And even through that, too. So, yeah. Third matchup. Final matchup. Sober versus Draedric. Draedric is a very, very good with that male margin. The dude is very difficult to beat. 
Now, of course, we all know Majin's have that little advantage of having the super armor. So a basic attack or striker mill Majin is a very powerful thing. But it's not that, it's that Draedric just knows so well how to move with him. That he can stay on you and keep that combo rolling basically forever. You know, hit you with his back attack. You know, he just he, he has he has such a perfect mastery of his ranges. But as you're seeing here, he's uh pressuring Sober Soul pretty hard. Sober Soul's getting some damage in, but he's uh definitely getting it taken out of him in return. Draedric using the male Majin stretchy arm range to knock Sober out of Pearl Flash, and then Sober hits him with another one. Oh, I just can't get over how good these two are. I mean, the fact that Sober can do this much against uh, Draedric's Majin is a testament to his incredible skill. He just jumped over that Pearl Flash. Draedric took that one. Smashing Sober, dashing to catch up. Sober not letting him have it. Sober knowing that he has to knock that armor off if he wants to do anything, and he can't let Draedric catch him with the basic combos. Now you can see they got into a clash there, and Sober threw out an arm crash, which hit Daedric. Daedric did the thing that everybody does and vanished, but definitely needed to do it. They're both flashing red. Sober's at a bit of a disadvantage here. Could this be it? He vanished twice, and Draedric finishes it with a Pearl Flash. So now we see their second matchup. Can Sober pull it back? Like I say, Draedric is... I, honestly, here's the thing is, I would say Draedric is probably one of, if not the best players on the PC version. And definitely he's up there, regardless of platform. Like, th this dude is very, very good at what he does. So we'll see if Sober can overcome it because Sober's build definitely takes skill to use. I mean, he's on an Earthling, he's on an Earthling male, he's on an Earthling male striker. So he's got the stats behind him, but he still has to get close. He still has to hit him with stuff. He still has to deal with that male Majin armor. Which, unless you're a key build, is very difficult to do. Even with Pearl Flash, even with Shining Slash, even with Arm Crash. I mean, because you've seen Draedric uh, respond to every single one of those abilities. Draedric throw in the Freedom Kick. And Silver Soul countered the last hit with Arm Crash, but Draedric jumped and hit him with another uh, heavy attack. Because that's the, that's the male Majin heavy combo that you've seen him use over and over again right there. Silver trying to use Arm Crash again to avoid damage and takes another Pearl Flash from Draedric, who goes right back into the combos. But there you go, you see Perfect Sol uh, Silver Soul's master of the perfect blocks. He actually perfect blocked two of Draedric's hits, but, I mean, it's fucking Draedric, man. Come on. There's only so much you can do. Sober's fucking crazy good, but Draedric is, like, next level, man. And so now we come into the last matchup. Juice Box versus Draedric. Will Anti pull this out? Will Fire be the Season 1 champions? We'll see. And we'll finally get to see how Juice does against Draedric, because I've been very terribly curious to see this exact matchup. His Earthling female Death Beam Finger Banger, which you just saw him throw out a Death Beam right there, versus Draedric's mastery of the module. And you can see, Draedric's keeping him on the back foot. I mean, normally Juice does a lot more Death Bane spamming than this, but there, he's got to get the key for it. He's got the key for it. But Draedric, he also has to hit Draedric with him. And not only that, but he has to, he has to hit Draedric with it the first time to knock the Majin armor off, and then actually hit him with it for damage and stagger, which is what he's doing there. Close in, throw some more, but then Draedric just sidestepped, started smacking him, A little bit of desync there. You saw Draedric get hit by that last one, but you didn't see it actually hit him. Uh, you know, that's the game being shitty for you. 
but you can definitely see that Juice has definitely, with that barrage, shredded Draedric's module. Now you saw him hit him twice there, but he still had the super armor. Draedric gets perfect blocked, has to uh, explosive wave his way out of it. But you can see, man, he's just got that combo down so well, and he knows exactly where he's going to go. That, you know, he just basically beat Juice down. Juice continuing to try to use the finger bang death beam combo, which, as you saw, it was really effective when he had Draedric in it. But uh, Draedric's wary. He's moving around a lot. So Juice throws the Ill Flash, which is another move that is kind of bullshit. But... Oh, Juice took that Pearl Flash. What's it going to be? Is he going to catch Draedric in another beam spam? He caught Draedric in the beam spam, but Draedric used Explosive Wave to get out of it. They're both at a sliver of health. What's going to happen? Oh my fucking god. Draedric pulls it out at the last second with a Pearl Flash. What a result. So here we come into the second match of the Season 1 finale. Will Juicebox pull it back? Will Draedric seal it for fire? Oh, what the... The perfect blocks. I can't... I just can't even. I literally just cannot. Oh, a bit of an invisible ill flash there. Draedric dashing around for position in there. But Juice just teleports and continues to point that finger. Oh, I thought he caught a minute. Oh, but did you see that? He backed up right out of Draedric's range because Draedric keeps you at the extreme of his range. But he's still in range. Juicebox stepped back and he was out of range. He's well within range there, but he perfect blocks the back attack. Did it again. And now Juice has a commanding lead over Draedric. And because that Death Beam shit just staggers, it doesn't knock you back or throw you or move you in any way. He can just, you know, and it fires three times for every one bar of key. Just shoot, 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 dash, punch once, shoot, 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 dash, punch once. It's basically like if I could do that with energy shot on my Saiyan. Except, but it's like, it's kind of like what I do on my Saiyan. You know, punch, 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 energy shot, punch, 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 and energy shot. Because energy shot just staggers. If I can catch you in it, it's just as bad as getting caught in a uh, infinite. The tension is incredibly high. This is it. Match three between Juicebox and Draedric. Winner take all for season one of the DBX PvP Team League. Will Draedric be able to conquer the Death Beam spam? I can't believe Juice has actually managed to run Draedric out of stamina. He actually had him at low stamina. That blows my mind. I, you can see the power. Again, part of the thing is that his uh, female Earthling is really short. So she doesn't have that problem that tall characters have where they miss the second or third shot. Every single beam is going to hit. Because if you look there, the second beam is fired like... I want to say about half an arm's length higher than the other one. So... Well, it was pretty even. Still, I mean, Juice only has a little bit of a lead. Draedric's got all of his key, a bunch of stamina. Juice is full up on stamina as well, but he's out of key. J Draedric goes in, throws a pro flash after some basic attack combos, but Juice steps around, continuing to backpedal, throws out a shine shot. Raider hits him with some more combos. Pearl Flash is out. He actually used that Pearl Flash to escape there. Not necessarily to actually attack. He used it because he knew it was going to move him. Oh my god. He's doing everything he can to get out of that Death Beam spam, but it's so brutal. Juicebox throws out a Shine Shot. Hits him with a few Key Blasts. And finishes it off with a final shine shot. You can see me celebrating there in chat because this has blown my fucking mind. Juice box 
has beaten Draedric. It's completely and utterly insane. But yes, thank you everyone for watching the Season 1 finale. Uh, everybody's involvement has been incredible. It's been an amazing journey. I haven't uh, experienced anything like this in a game for a very long time. It's very exciting. Um, but yeah, uh, as you can see me just running around here between people. Um, we're going to be moving on into Season 2. Actually, the matchup for uh, my new team, uh, Anti still exists, but I'm on a different team now, is uh, going to be coming soon. So yeah, see y'all in the next video. Peace.